Ori. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. This is 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson here, joined by the great Shaquille O'Neal and the equally great Kenny the Jet Smith. And the pregame warm-ups wrapping up out there in Cleveland where it'll be the Cavaliers against the Philadelphia 76ers. Philadelphia looking very confident right now. The game tonight marks their second of four meetings they will play this season, and they come into this one feeling pretty good after winning the last time they met. Teron Liu went from being an assistant coach in Cleveland to interim head coach, and now the head coach with an NBA title. Talk about the job he's done for the Cavs. You know, his players love him. They fight for him. He played for me, so I know he's a great basketball mind, and I think that's the best compliment you can give a coach. He played for you? Yeah, he played for me. He played for you? You coached him? Nope, but it was my team. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> you must have been a joy to coach. You must have been a joy to coach, man. <laughs> First time coach, man, leading his team to rings. You've got to be impressed. Well, the other thing that you're impressed is how much guys play for him, not just that he played for guys. Oh, you know, that's so deep. I'm going to need to take about a half or three quarters just to digest it. Here's Kevin Harlan. That's yeah, that's right, right Yeah, oh, keep going. Oh, oh. Boo -boo. <laughs> Too soon. A little more leg movement from you, please. Hey, oh. what is that? You're having to? a dance party we without no me. Charlie, get up your oh. phone, please. Oh, Yo, you ripping the yeah. rug. Yeah, man. just like that. What? Oh. Watch Shammy over here. Oh. Come on. Oh yeah, watch me break your neck. Energy. No, oh. I can't get that low. Oh. I can't let oh. get that low. Let me do one more. Come on, come on. And my elbows right. My elbows. What's wrong? I don't see any hip movement. I don't see any passion out here except you, Shammy. You are beautiful. The rest of you, I don't have time for this. Yo, my hips don't lie, man. Hey, yo, watch me, watch me. You yeah. high, you high. Ah. Shammy head getting bigger by the minute, man. Why did you like that? That's crazy. Because y'all can't dance. You was killing me, You got me, two yo. left feet, That's what I'm yeah, saying, well, them ankles, man. Play as well you as look you slim. Dance. You been working out? That's what I'm talking about. B, what's, what's up, up man? baby? How you doing? The process. I'm good, man. I'm good. The process. Yeah, the process. Good, How you doing, man? I'm good. I'm good. How was the season? It's been a great season, man. I, I really appreciate you being there for me, bro. You know, I'm always I'm always going to be there. It was a rocky start. <laughs> I saw. I was there. I it was, was giving so you a solid time. finish, man. I appreciate you, bro. You got it. You All got right? it. Uh, have a good enough season. All right, man. Thanks. You too. Yep. Stay up. Yes, sir. We've got basketball action at Quicken Loans Arena in downtown Cleveland, Ohio. 
the home of the Cavaliers, live on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by the talented analyst tandem of Greg Anthony and Chris Weber. David Aldridge is on our sideline. Looking at the last game for the Cleveland Cavaliers, it was a win against the Pacers in Indiana. Away from home, you got to execute, and, and they did that flawlessly. Yeah, and they also controlled the pace of the game for most of the night. Outstanding effort in the hostile environment. And let's go straight over to David Aldridge for a report before the tip-off. Hey, Dave. Hey, Kevin. Sixers coach Brett Brown says that Philadelphia reminds him of his hometown of Boston. He said the city has tremendous pride. The city wants winners. It's a tough, no-nonsense city. Nobody's sugarcoating anything. And I love that because you can just tell it like it is. My responsibility is to produce a team that plays hard. Guys? Thanks, David. Right on the money. Philly's passion for sports is something that makes them so unique. Well, Chris, as we get deeper into the season, it becomes clear to us, the fans, who the real title contenders are. You were on some teams that were considered title contenders. When did you know that this was the way your team was going to go? Well, I think you know you can go all the way when you come in to training camp. You have a special feeling. You know each player's skill set. You know how they can add to yours. You understand the chemistry. I don't think any team Ready comes gentlemen. together in the beginning Ready. of the season and doesn't expect that they can win a championship, the ones that really have a legitimate chance. It's not like you can say, hey, I didn't know we were that good. Hey, we can vie for the championships. No, I think most teams go into this season from the last year saying, you know what, next year is our year, and that's how we were. We prepared for it for day one in training camp that's how we approached it and being on bad teams you don't even mention championship you say hey we need to get better every day that's a code for it and the Cavaliers will go with a different look here Crowder he's checked in for love Smith comes in for LeBron Wells he's checked in for Kyle Corver and DJ subbed in for Isaiah Thomas Johnson the screen now here's Bayless covered by Parsons Dishes it to Covington. Shot clock at five. Charge a screen on Crowder. 4 3, Covington. Shot clock reset for Philadelphia. Bayless dishes to Charge. Shoots over Wells. The shot by Charge, no good. Cleveland leading by 12. Here's DJ. It's stolen by Charge. Anderson against Smith. Anderson passes to Covington. There's Bayless with the three. Sinks the three-pointer. Bayless has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. There's a chance he could go for a big game if they don't D him up on the perimeter. Second shot opportunity. Thompson with the bucket. And the Cavaliers lead by 11. Defensively, they've been a step slow here to start. There's the dish to Covington. And the pass to Johnson. Back to Covington. The feed to Sharnich. Anderson outside. Six to shoot. Off the pick. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Just doing the job on the backboard. Bells the bucket on the assist by Smith. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they've shot the basketball. And Bayless kicks to Covington. Johnson the screen. Here's Sharch. Good D by Thompson. Aggressive move to the bucket. And the D is ready for it. Shot from 12. Again, the Cavaliers score. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. And Bayless kicks to Covington. Passes it to Sharch. Out to the right wing. Johnson the screen off the screen and slam dunk by Sharich and a sturdy screen set for him that time and he doesn't fool around just straight to the rim for the finish no way for his man to get around that one that's that's for sure you're right they are precise in how they ran that play exceptional timing that's all good stuff the 76ers trail by 13 Covington Thompson with the rebound. And low percentage look on that one. Not sure what he was thinking. Well, sometimes you get a little outside of yourself. You have to be a little more disciplined. Johnson outside. Anderson outside. 
Covington with it. Picked up by Thompson. Teardrop shot. Crowder with the steal. Left side Parsons to the paint. Here's Thompson. That's in. Coming off the assist from Parsons. And that's now seven points for Tristan Thompson. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Anderson dishes to Sharch. The 76ers with another miss. The Cavaliers leading by 15. Left side Parsons to the paint. Here's Thompson. That's in. Coming off the assist from Parsons. And that's now seven points for Tristan Thompson. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Anderson dishes to Sharch. The 76ers with another miss. The Cavaliers leading by 15. Left side Parsons to the paint. Here's Thompson. That's in. Coming off the assist from Parsons. And that's now Wells passes to DJ. From outside, off the mark. Bayless. That shot is off. Domination in the first quarter. It's been pretty lopsided. Cavaliers lead by 15. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of this break. And welcome back. It's been all one-sided so far through the first quarter as our second quarter gets underway. And for the Cavaliers, this has been the game they wanted to have. Just playing suffocating defense. That's been the difference here for them. And really sustained it. EJ out there with the on Shumper. And it's Smith, then it's Thompson, and it's Crowder in at the four spot. That's the five for Cleveland right now. Here's Parsons. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. And really, few teams in NBA history have undertaken the sort of extreme makeover the Sixers did over the last four years. And a lot of losing along the way, but the fans have been surprisingly supportive of the rebuilding process. That one is no good. And before the rebuild, the Sixers for a long time were stuck in mediocrity. Treading water, Greg, as they might say. Yeah, and it's, look, it's hard to make that leap without top draft picks. And the Sixers plumbed the depths, if you will. And now, though, I think they found their treasure trove. Stolen by Thompson. Sharich against Crowder. Parsons outside. They get it back. Out to Shumpert. He feeds it to Crowder. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. Pass to Parsons. Drills it from outside. Parsons got seven points in the game. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. And Bayless kicks to Anderson. He dishes it to Johnson. Pass to Covington. There's the feed to Sharich. Crowder with the steal. Lays it up off the glass. Crowder's got his second basket of the game. And credit Crowder with his activity disrupting the play. He got them out and running that time. And that replay presented by Under Armour showing us the fantastic steal that led to that fast break finish. Another unleashed chaos moment. And Bayless kicks to Covington. And Johnson now top of the key. Here's Bayless. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Atlanta will be traveling to face them after this game. That'll be the second of four games at home for him. Parsons for three. He doesn't hit that one. And the 76ers go the other way with it. Their last game, a win against the Lakers, looking to carry it into this one. You know what? It's a fine line between attacking but yet staying under control. And they did, and that's why they shot such a high percentage. Well, they worked through their plays until they found some decent looks. And then they did a great job finishing. And Anderson gets it to go. Uh, and no fight left in the defense there after a teeth-rattling pick. And Shumper kicks to Smith. Outside Crowder. Parsons for three. Tips it. And there's Thompson putting it right back in. Nine points in the game so far. Look, Thompson's getting after it. A highly skilled offensive rebounder. 
and crashes with power. The 76ers trail by 18, and the 76ers call time here. And Chris, when you played, you were known as a guy at your size who could rip and run, take it coast to coast. You look around the league now, who are some of the best big men ball handlers? Oh, you love it. If you get that board, you got to be able to take it, speed up the offense. We've seen Draymond just, just have a field day doing it with all the players on his team that can knock it down and score. Blake Griffin, uh, Anthony Davis. Uh, we've even seen Paul Millsap and Julius Randle do it a little bit. So uh, I love the fact that if you can get that board and push it, uh, it makes it easier because you don't have to look for the outlet. You can actually find that point guard, that two guard in transition and let them score and you be the facilitator. Solid pick to create that opening. The soft touch on the jumper. Jefferson kicks the jumper. This is the DJ. Here's Love. Tries again. He takes it up and lays it in. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Embiid the screen. McConnell kicks to Covington. Back to McConnell. Just five to shoot. Embiid the screen. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. Now let's take a look at how the shots have been divided up between three-point shots and two-point shots for the 76ers. The Cavaliers making a switch here. James is checked in. J.J. Reddick's checked in for the 76ers. The Cavaliers leading by 18. Now here's James. His last outing, he had 24 points. Kicks it to DJ. Screen by Jefferson. Parsons for three. Out of bounds will be 76ers ball. Isaiah Thomas, he's checked in for Parsons. Cavaliers shooting a sweet 57% clip in quarter number two. Smith for three. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. James has got three assists tonight. And the three ball is Smith's go-to. We all know that. He's excellent at measuring up any shot beyond that arc. Charge just screen on Thompson. Here's Anderson. Another shot. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That's on LeBron James. You know what? And not a bad foul there. Johnson, an excellent finisher inside. This is his first free throw of the game. You, you see, Amir Johnson, he's been trying to make the three-pointer a bigger part of his arsenal. You know, he was my rookie back in Detroit. He has such a slow windup, but if you give him space, he can make you pay. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Crowder's checked in. Here's Thompson, and it's Thompson with the jam. Uh, when you're open, DJ will find you. A team first guy who plays well within the offense. There's 126 left to play in the first half. And Bayless kicks to Covington. Johnson the screen. The dish now to Anderson. Six on the shot clock. Here's Sharich. And that one hits back iron. The D a little slow to get in his face. They're fortunate it didn't cost him. Now here's DJ. D right on him. Off with the layup. 50 seconds left here in the second. Johnson the screen. There's Bayless with the three. Knocks down the three ball. Bayless has got six. A, a tough start scoring the basketball, but they're starting to turn it around now. And now Philadelphia on the break, and Anderson slams it in. And guys got careless with the ball there, and the turnover leads to the big stuff. Once he came upright with the steal, he went straight on the attack. And how about the explosiveness he shows, going from the offensive to the defensive end in a blink. That's good, and so Bayless with the assist. Anderson's got six points in the quarter. Well, after not making anything from the field in the first, I mean, he has really elevated his game this second quarter. Back to Crowder. He kicks to DJ. Beyond the arc. Parsons missing again. 
Covington inside the line. That misses would have counted had it gone in. And so a pretty lopsided game through the first half. Cleveland ahead, opening up a huge gap. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Here with Coach Duran Lou. Coach, what is the focus going to be in the second half? Just play the right way. Can move the ball, share the ball, get stops, and get out and run the transition. Always leads to good results. Thanks, Duran. Back to you, Kevin. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. And as we welcome you back, we begin our second half. So far, not a tightly contested game, guys, but you know, anything can happen. We're seeing a truck. And the Cavaliers will go with a different look here. Crowder, he's checked in for Tristan Thompson. Jefferson comes in for James. Come on, Shumpert's checked in for Kyle Corver. And Parsons subbed in for Isaiah Thomas. So on the floor for Philadelphia. Dario Sharich is out there with Amir Johnson. Then it's Robert Covington. Then there's Anderson, and it's Bayless in at the one spot. The pass to Covington. Bayless with it. Six points for him. Passes it to Sharich. Over Shumpert. Will not go. This is off the front iron. And now the Cavaliers. Fast break. Parsons running. Jefferson dishes to Love. From downtown, that's good from Shumpert on the assist by Love. Love's got his third assist on the night. Yeah, that's two straight three-pointers they've allowed. Got a piece of it. To the middle. And Parsons gets it to go. DJ's got five points now this quarter. Uh, you can't let DJ get comfortable down on the block. He's superb at reading the defense and cashing in deep inside. Sharich against Love. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. Shot clock at five. Covington. Anderson wide open. And play stops as it looks like they call an over the back here. And you can live with those over the back calls sometimes because at least it's an effort play. I can't say he wasn't going all out, but he's clearly out of position. Looking at who's out there now for the Cavaliers. Smith comes in for Jefferson, and Wells is subbed in for Shumpert. Sharich against Crowder. Back to Love. It's stolen by Johnson. Now here's Covington. He's guarded closely. Inside to stop the run. Whistle on the play. Bucket's good. He'll go to the line. Stays with it. And Johnson able to finish the play. That's, that's just outstanding. And Chris, we know you are always trying to connect with our fans over social media. Uh, we have a question for you sent in by a viewer who asked, Chris, if you weren't a basketball player, what other profession do you think you may have pursued? Wow. Well, I used to want to be a wrestler <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and other guys like that. But no, my mother was a teacher and I, I always was with her in school. And I think, you know, uh, I love kids and hanging around kids. So it would definitely be something where I'm instructing kids. I don't know if it would be school or if it would be a gym teacher or if it would be uh, working with kids in some type of way. But uh, definitely would want to work with kids. I can see you as a teacher. Like if like if you were a wrestler, like what would your name be? Like would you be like uh, the you know, Flash? Yeah. Oh, or, man, like, what, what name would you It was some had? terrible names back there. <laughs> Junkyard Dog, uh, Coco Beware, Ultimate Warrior, <laughs> Superfly Snooker. I, I, I know I gave my name back. I gave myself a name back in there. I don't, I don't know. I, I'd have to figure out first what my persona was. You know what I mean? So yeah. I don't know. I have to think about that one. But I'm I'm too skinny, man. I really got broken up in that ring. Like, I know that for sure. So I think I made the right decision. It's good. Johnson's got six. Oh, spotting up and knocking it down. The big man, Johnson, can't be left alone. Here's Love. That one falls through. It's his sixth make from the floor this game. Now six for ten. And when they've gone to him, he has come through big time. You got to keep getting him touches. And Anderson kicks to Johnson. 
Anderson outside. Six on the shot clock. It's taken away by Smith. And here comes Smith leading the fast break. A shot by Crowder, no good. Look, you can't defend down low much better than that. Refuses to give him an easy path to the bucket. Covington kicks to Bayless. Johnson the screen. Shot, high post. Love grabs the board. Guys, some great passing from him. Yeah, everybody's touching it, and you're starting to see the assists pile up because the rhythm is on display offensively. Wells' shot is good. And you can see the play calling this half. Another one from distance. Well, that's because they made a concerted effort to get the shooters involved. Now they've built up the confidence. Covington with it. Now guarded by Wells. Sharks, that's good. He's just able to shoot over people at a high rate. But yeah, using his size. That's what I like about his game. He understands where he has the advantage. Then he exploits it. Smith kicks to Love. Smith outside. Here's Wells. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. Smith's got three assists now in this one. Yeah, how about the percentage they're shooting from beyond the arc here in the second half? Now here's Covington. Tight defense on him. Johnson sends the screen for Covington. Back to Johnson. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Johnson's got eight points. Oh, that's what Johnson loves to do. Just set screens and roll to the rim. Wilson against Smith. Feeds to Parsons. Oh, good with the triple. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Now here's Bayless. Covered by Parsons. Johnson the screen. Jumper off the screen. And off the front iron, and in it goes. He's got 10. Next, a great pick that time by Johnson. I mean, that's another area where he excelled. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been decided. Cavaliers ahead. And we're getting underway here in the fourth quarter. The scoreboard tells the story in this matchup, but we'll see how much things change up here. Well, Cleveland shooting has been beyond great up until now. How about 57% from the field overall? A moment now to reset the lineups. Back to us by Gatorade. All fueled up here for the fourth quarter. And so in the game for the Cavaliers, we've got J.R. Smith. Channing Fry out there with Jay Crump. Then it's DJ, and it's Wells in at the shooting guard position. Left side, Parsons over Bayless. Parsons can't get that one to fall. 76ers shooting at a decent 44% clip here. It's Anderson with the drive. Makes it off the glass. Anderson's got the fourth quarter started here with a bucket for the 76ers. Oh, sweet move there. Taking the defender off the dribble and then just cruising in for the layup. Outside Crowder. Smith for three. Good on the triple. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. Back to Bayless. There's the three. And the 76ers get it back. From past the arc. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jaleel Okafor. That is his first foul of the game. And trying to be the first one to get his hands on the miss. Instead, he's called for over the back. And there's nothing malicious about that play. Just isn't in a good spot and can't recover. Parsons for three. It's not going to go for him. Well, you, you see the struggles he's having getting anything to go. Yeah, but at the same time, you know if he can just break through this cold street, he can give you what you need. The high post shot and Okafor at the basket on the assist by Anderson. And, and they've worked the ball around so well tonight for those quality looks for mid-range. Pass to Smith. Cleveland moving it around. And Fry kicks to DJ. And he hits the jump shot. Well, and DJ makes some quick decisions. When the D isn't up on him, he burns them with the catch and shoot, Jimmy. Pass to Stauskas. Okafor against Thompson. 
And it's Okafor missing. That type of defense doesn't always get it done. But it does the job that time. The feed now to Parsons. Parsons missing again. We see him make shots from the perimeter all the time. Unfortunately, he's just off with his rhythm in this one. Bayless from long range sinks the three-pointer. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Stolen by Bayless. And oh, here we go with Bayless. Nobody back. Plays it in off the breakaway. Bayless has got nine points now in just the second half. And aggressive defense causing the mistake, then cashing in. What a beautiful steal off of great anticipation. His instincts right there were right on. Here's Stauskas. Johnson up top. Anderson outside. He feeds it to Okafor. Over Thompson. And he can't bank that one in. Cleveland's gone into a funk from downtown in the fourth. Only one of their five three-pointers has found the bottom of the bucket. This is where Thompson feels comfortable. Shooting very close to the rim. He's efficient. And Bayless kicks to Anderson. Okafor dishes to Johnson. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Fry's got his third rebound tonight. Kicks to Thompson. Dishes it to Parsons. Parsons can't get that one to fall. His outside shot isn't, isn't synced up right now, and he should think about trying to go inside as, as this game winds down. And Okafor with the block. Now here's Bayless. He's guarded close. Johnson the screen. Stauskas kicks to Okafor. There's Bayless with the three. Rebound by Smith. And, and maybe, you know, he thinks he can shoot himself out of the cold spell, but I don't think that's the case. Maybe somebody want to tell him to ease up off the threes. Philadelphia shooting a pedestrian 36% in the fourth quarter. The offense not doing their best work of late. Johnson against Thompson. Another miss by Philadelphia. A big mistake by the DN. They got away with it. Parsons. Osmond. Danny battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. Now look at that. That's just a great all-around play. Getting into position for the offensive rebound. Finishing strong on the putback. Shot. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Not a very consistent quarter for him in terms of a shooter. EJ passes to Thompson. And Okafor with the block. And that's out of bounds. Cleveland will retain possession. And so here's Cleveland. Parsons for three. The second chance effort. The rebound by Anderson. Here's Thompson. Slides through for his seventh basket in 11 tries. Indicative of what we've seen tonight. One team being the aggressor, the other failing to react. You know the saying, numbers don't lie. You can see it up there on the scoreboard. Anderson against Jefferson. Shot to stop the drought. And a foul called on the shot. shot Got him shot. on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Well, Chris, NBA players will go around to every arena at least once in a season. Does each arena have its own feel and look? And how does that impact players when they play on the floor? A, a depth perception from the basket uh, to the last row. They've told me that every building feels different. Is that true? Yeah, every building does feel different, but because every player is different, you know, it just depends on which guy in which arena. You know, I used to love Portland because it was dark in Portland and it felt warm in there. I, I don't know why. I mean, <laughs> I can't really even explain that that well, but yeah. I used to love playing in Portland. And I know some guys that have an arena that is bright or they just love getting there or maybe they just love that city. So a, a lot of times, I'll tell you what arena I really loved, and it was the first time I went to Boston Garden mm. because I just sat and I stretched on the floor probably for the longest of any game because I sat there and I touched the parquet floor and I 
I got to look up at all the banners and I, you know, kind of reading the banners there and who played there and what year they won and tried to remember that team. And so the summer arena is just special because who's performed there, who's been there before you. And so every arena has a different feel. That's a great answer. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. And Anderson kicks to Stauskas. Okafer, high post. Now here's Bayless, covered by Parsons. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Shot clock at five from the arc. And Bayless with the basket, the assist by Anderson. Anderson's got assist number five here tonight. Incredible touch from deep. As a defender, you cannot afford to relax on this guy. LeBron kicks to Parsons. And the miss by Parsons. Philadelphia has gone a disappointing two of six on three point attempts here in the fourth. Here's Stauskas, guarded by Shumpert. Okafor with the screen on Parsons. And here's Anderson from the arc. It falls for his fifth field goal of the night. Now shooting five for eight. All these open threes they're giving up have really been the driving force on this run. And Shumpert kicks to Jefferson. He dishes it to James. They set the pick. Here's DJ. Parsons missing again. Here's Philadelphia. It's been eight unanswered points for him. Bayless with it. Now guarded by Parsons. To the wing on the left. A three from Anderson. That's good. And so Bayless with the assist. Anderson's got a couple of three-pointers now in the fourth for the 76ers. And here's James outside. Good on the three-point shot. I like how James shoots. He knows how to catch the D by surprise. Philadelphia's gotten eight shots off from three-point land and hit half of them. Now the dish to Johnson. He kicks to Okafor. Over Fry. Okafor, the pass to Bayless. The 11-footer. And it's Okafor missing. He's the key if they're going to make a run. He's been way off this court. In the corner, it's Jefferson. Parsons for three. Parsons can't get that one to fall. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. And Bayless kicks to Anderson. Here's Okafor. It's tipped. He's the key if they're going to make a run. He's been way off this court. Johnson against LeBron. And LeBron throws it down. That's just crazy athleticism from James. His vertical is through the roof. The 76 are shooting 43% from the field. Johnson the screen. Here's Bayless. Fouled in the act of shooting. A three-point play chance coming up. Playing big, willing to go toe-to-toe -to -toe against the guy who towers over him. Well, it's just an attitude, a way of life. You can't let people see you back down, or, or they take it as a sign of weakness and expect that treatment every time. Luawu Cabarro, he's checked in for the 76ers. No good from Fry. I don't care who it is. You can't leave him wide open from that range. Anderson against Jefferson. Now the pass to Luawu. And poor shot selection there. Not a high percentage look for him. Parsons on the wing. A three ball. The rebound by Anderson. Anderson's got his third rebound tonight. And the game and the culture of basketball has so many subsets. One of those is the basketball shoe culture, the sneaker culture. Players competing almost as much, Chris, for style points as they are for actual points. Oh, yeah, you know, and, and I love to say that I was part of that culture, you know, uh, with the black socks and, and with some different shoes that I've had at the NBA. It's a lot of fun, man. It's, it's something that your fans can relate to. It's something personal. It shows a personal side of what you have, your type of design. So, you know, you're very fortunate if you get your own uh, kick deal. And uh, I, I was fortunate. It's a lot of fun, and, uh, and the fans love it. And it's Okafor missing. Oh, great effort there. That's how you defend the paint. Yeah, he has that capacity. He knows exactly where to position himself to protect the rim. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for Cleveland. 
the sheer volume of three-pointers was the deciding factor tonight at Senior. Yeah, they, they sink one and, and then do it again, and that strategy did work. And in terms of the season record, this is going to be their 18th win overall. And with this win now, we're all square, one and one. Two more games yet to come in what's proving to be a very competitive season series. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Isaiah Thomas. From an offensive standpoint, he was their leader tonight. Whenever they needed a big bucket, he was always the guy to come up with it. That free throw missing. Now, you know DJ loves putting work in at the gym, and he's always looking for ways to improve. A soft-spoken guy who has no problem letting his game do all the talking. Well, one thing I like about Ty Lue is at the same time he's a player's coach, he's also got the confidence to take charge. That's important on a team with star talent like the Cavs. Anderson dishes to Okafor. It's blocked, but they'll get another chance. And Bayless kicks to Okafor. And count it. He'll head to the line with a chance to make it three. Look, high percentage looking tight. It's hard to miss that one. They have been really controlling this one. You never want to be complacent on the floor. That's when you lose momentum. And stolen by Parsons. Can't connect. So we see the Cavaliers taking the win here. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. Uh, I know they're fans. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who stands by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Now, it's early, but you've established yourself as a contender that might make a deep playoff run. Is that on your mind? No, David, it's, it's, uh, it's something that's in the back of your mind, but this early in the season, our goal is to just improve as a team and, and to get to a point where we can make some serious, you know, make a serious run at the title. Uh, if we start put, putting the cart before the horse, things fall apart in a hurry. So we're just taking it one game at a time. And uh, sorry to have to feed you that cliche, but, you know. You owe me a nickel. Kevin? David, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Chris Weber, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll see you next time. Hey, DJ, DJ. Oh, yo, what's up, Coach? Hey, I thought you had a great game tonight, but I did notice you were a little heavy on the threes. Look, we want you to take them, but don't just take the first one out of the gate. Get into the action, move around a little bit. Look, I know everybody in the league is trying to get jiggy with it from the deep, but that don't mean you have to be the follower of the pack. You're a star. Take the smart shot. All right, sure, Coach. All right. Shoot more threes. Why are you whispering, SK? 
I wouldn't want the coaching staff to think that I disagree with them. Which is exactly what they would think if they heard you whispering about taking more threes. Look, DJ, you need to dunk more, okay? I'm not a stats guy, but I do know that a monster dunk trends way better than a simple three-pointer. DJ, three is more than two. Convert 50% of your threes as 1.5 points per game. Convert 50% of your twos as one point per game. And the average player is playing way better than that these days. I don't understand a single word you just said, my man. Yeah, I don't understand that either. But what I do understand is that the trending means more online traffic, which means more ticket sales, which means more jersey sales. Oh, that does sound nice, Char. You know what also sounds nice? More points per game, which goes up when you shoot more threes, especially from the corner. It's the best shot in the game. It's, it's shorter distance, but it's still three points. Take a look at this, Char. Now, hold 40%. up, brother. Now, you had me at shoot more threes. Look how many views this dunking video has. And you had me at jersey sales. Now, how about this? I'm going to shoot more threes, and I'm going to dunk. You guys are on it, man. I appreciate y'all.